Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have my haul for you today for groceries. I'll show you what I bought and we can go over my meal plan for the week. I grabbed some cream cheese, which I really need to start buying Philadelphia. Two dozen eggs. The butter is still $1.99, so I bought a pound. I'll probably put that in the freezer. Some broccoli. If you saw over here, I have some cheese sauce left over from Thanksgiving that I froze. So I'm going to do cheesy broccoli. I have some coffee, creamer, Parmesan cheese. And speaking of, oh, an avocado. But speaking of cheese, look at that. Is that not adorable? It's a little pricey. But I think on Christmas dinner night when I'm home, I'm going to have a charcuterie tray with some meatses and cheeseses. And some olives and nuts. So I grabbed that. I brought breakfast sausage. I'm going to make sausage sandwiches for breakfast this week. Some sliced cheese for the sandwiches. Just some cheese to cut up and have. Um, cranberries. I'm going to try to make my cranberry sauce again. I really liked it. And cheese for some chaffles. And in the crock pot, I have pork chops that I put on this morning. And I will show you that when it comes out. And we'll do some cooking today. Let's make some pork chops. This is just a pack of center cut pork chops. I had them in the freezer. I haven't even gone to the grocery store yet, guys. So we're just going to, and this is what they look like. They were pretty cheap. I have the crock pot set on low. I am headed to work here in a minute for some overtime on this Sunday. We got stuff that needs to get done. There we go. So I'm just sticking them all in here. And then I'm going to throw in the rest of this bucket or tub of minced onion. Because that's kind of what I have available. I need to make my seasoning blends. So I need to go buy some more spices. And then I'm gonna use this Saison Complete Seasoning. It's really good. Oh yeah, I like it a lot. It just has all the seasonings in it. And you wanna make sure, oopsies. <laughs> you wanna make sure you get the paper out. That wouldn't have been fun. Uh, but you wanna season the ones underneath as well. So I did that. And then I'm going to put a little salt up in here. So we'll get the under ones. I don't know that that complete, I don't think I remember it has salt in it. Okay, got that. And then I'm going to do a little black pepper. I'm not going to worry about the under. I know that Saison has black pepper in. Oh, sorry, my arm's in the way. And then I'm taking a pat, I took a puffing of butter. And I'm going to add some butter. I just find pork dry. It can be dry. And part of the key though is we need fat. Now that's why I bought this specific cut of pork because it looked a little more had a little more fat to it. All right, that's it. It's going to go on low for hours on end. I'm going to make some coffee and go to work. And then I have to go to the grocery store. We'll be back. All right, guys, we're going to make some yeast rolls, keto style. The recipe is in the link below under cooking keto with Christy. This is not my recipe. So I can't, I'm not going to put it in the description box, um, but basically what it is, is a fathead dough. So we have cream cheese and mozzarella cheese that we're melting. Um, it does call for yeast and it's going to rise. So I have some yeast that's already um, blooming, some eggs, and then in here I have almond flour oat fiber, and a fair amount of baking powder, like two tablespoons, and that is not a typo. 
Now, if you link to her channel, it should be, I think it's the newest recipe, but she actually cooks it or makes it for you and goes through all the steps. So I'm not going to do that because she already has. Um, but what I am doing, I have this on low. I just need to melt the cream cheese and the mozzarella. And she says, you know, you can do it in the microwave, but Christy says this is better. So we're going to try it this way. And I will let you see it as I go along. But it's going to be a couple minutes. I need this all to melt. And then I will get it whipped together. Here's what the dough looks like. It's really soft. Oh, I was sitting on a hot burner, so we don't want to do that. But what we do want to do is we're going to let it rise for 30 minutes. So I covered it with a warm towel and I'm going to sit it here on the back of the stove and just let it, let it rise for 30 minutes. We're going to set the timer. Now, um, I'm going to do two rise, oops, two rise on this. So right now I'm letting the dough rise and then it's going to go into muffin tins and I'm going to let it rise again just to see if I can get a little more bready texture out of it, but we'll see. So the first rise is happening and I hope it gets puffy. And on the back burner, I have hot water going for broccoli and I'm just letting this come to room temperature and I'll heat that up when it's time and I've got my broccoli for it I could microwave these but I just prefer not to and then I'm gonna get my pork soon out of this crock pot and get that portioned up for lunches this week oh and I need to cook sausage but first we'll do the rolls biscuits are ready guys and this is the first time I'm making them too they rose a little bit this is the second rise now you can see like, I didn't quite get them 100% even, but that's okay. The recipe actually says to bake them in a small pan, but I'm trying to make sandwiches and I want portions, which I failed at, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put these in the oven at 375. I think it's at for like 20 minutes, but I'll be in here cooking anyway. So we'll set the timer. I always set the timer guys, because I'm doing 10 things at once. Those are in the oven. I'm gonna wash some dishes. And I'm going to cook our, my sausages. Um, I just grabbed some Bob Evans breakfast sausage. That's gonna be for my sandwich. And I'm not gonna do egg. I'm just gonna do um, cheese, like sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits for breakfast and I think one or two I don't know the plan is just to make them if I need one I don't know how big they're gonna be so if I just do one then I'll freeze the other ones for a later time if I think they're gonna be small then I'll have two for breakfast and that's fine too um, I cook this sausage pretty low so it gets cooked through but doesn't dry out um, sometimes I may add a little water if it's cooking too fast um, to get it to cook through because you know you don't want to dry everything out. Huh, guys, I'm tired. I, it is going to be an early bedtime tonight. Um, if you didn't know or if you care, the Buckeyes won their game. Whew, and it was a close one last night. I'm not going to lie, but they won their game. So they're gonna go play Clemson in a couple weeks. Oh, and this is what the pork and broccoli looks like. I just cubed up the pork chops and I have broccoli with cheese sauce. I'm eating some now because I'm starving. Um, and then I packed up my lunches, which I'll show you at the end. And I will show you how I'm gonna assemble my sandwiches. Now, I thought about doing egg and mixing it up and cooking it in the pan, but I don't know if I want to go through all that today. I'm tired. So, what I'm going to do now, I have the dishwasher running, if you can hear it. I'm going to hand wash the few things that need to be hand washed. And the last step is this, unless I decide to make some cookies, like some peanut butter cookies or something. I do have a video planned for some keto type Christmas cookies. It's just not going to be today. I'm sleeping. 
So I'm gonna get these cooked and then that bread should be out and we'll assemble the sandwiches. They came out, it was like 19 minutes. Oh, you guys, they smell like bread. We're gonna let it cool in this container and then when I go to cut them, I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, it's bread-ish, ish, sort of. Oh, I'm so excited. The bread is ready. Now, I would say I like it a lot, um, but I would probably forego the salt, maybe, or less salt. But look at the nooks and crannies in there, guys. Is it bread? No. But does it taste like bread? Heck yeah. So I took a square of cheese, cut it in four, and I'm doing this while the um, sausages are still warm. I want them to kind of melt the cheese, you see, to make... Um, you know, to make it stick to the bread. And then I'll put them in Tupperware. Whoops. I'll put them in a Tupperware container and call it breakfast. You could do this with egg, any kind of sandwich you want. But that is my breakfast sandwich for this week. I think I'll do take two, maybe, I don't know. Maybe one, who knows. But I'm gonna pack my lunch and I will bring you back when that is all done. My lunch is all ready. I decided on two sandwiches, so I have that, and then I have my pork and broccoli. I will put my lunch bag in the fridge and then just grab it and go in the morning, throw an ice pack in it and call it lunch. So that's done, and then tonight, because I work so hard, <laughs> I am heating up some mold wine. This is keto friendly. It comes from Germany. It's mold wine. See if I can get it to the ingredients. Red wine with cinnamon, clove, orange, and lemon. Um, obviously, you don't want to drink a whole bottle, but a glass is not too much. I get this at Aldi. It's $5.99 here in Ohio. Um, I heat it up. Sometimes in the microwave, I have a cinnamon stick in there just to give it a little more. And then I found this cup at... Target. It was three dollars, five dollars, but it keeps your drinks warm. I just rinsed it out. Um, keeps your drinks warm. So I put some hot water in it and let it keep you know warm up while I'm heating up my mold wine, pretty slow and low. And then I have that for my evening treat. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoy and you have a good one. Bye.